so I just want to get on here and talk to you for a minute. Yes, I'm well aware I look like crap. So I did a video of my son went to his dad's house and, you know, everything turned out fine and you'll see the video. Um, I was thinking about doing, putting this on the end of that video, but I'm not going to. See, this morning he decided it was, it's been the next day. Um, he came back Sunday. Today is Monday. <clears throat> so he decided this morning was not a good morning. Um, he was just having an emotional time. Um, I started recording him because he doesn't like it when I do that. And I know that's wrong. And I, and I don't do it to embarrass him. But I do it to to kind of get him to stop. And also to... Basically, I started recording him so that I could show his dad how he was acting. So that we could co-parent. Um, so that I had proof of, you know, I'm not just making this crap up kind of thing. That, you know, I was taught to document stuff. But I decided not to do that. I'm not going to stick that on this recording. And I'm doing a, a whole separate recording because I'm not out here to try to embarrass him. But I'm out here to get awareness. Whenever, see, Christian doesn't do very well with change. When the slightest thing changes... He kind of has this um, this way about him that he doesn't know how to express his feelings very well except for to whine and cry, kind of like a two-year-old. And sometimes he doesn't quite understand why he's doing it. He just feels that way. He just, he has those feelings encased, you know? And so um, I just wanted to get on here and kind of to raise a little bit of awareness. Um, he started to come, he, he started living with me about two months ago and yesterday, this weekend was his first weekend going to his dad's house. And so not being with his dad for so long and then going and, you know, doing all the fun stuff and stuff like that. It's not like he doesn't want to come back to me. He wants to be here, but at the same time, it's, it just gets, I wouldn't say overwhelming. It just, I don't know exactly the word I'm looking for. It just, it's just a big pile of emotions, you know, okay, excitement, happiness, and it, it just kind of gets thrown in the mix of everything on top of everything, you know, so it's not like it's overwhelming, it's just a, a lot of emotions for him to process. So um, the awareness I'm trying to get out there is, you know, just, just, be nice and calm and patient. And yes, I understand there's a difference between babying and giving them what they want in, to, in terms of, you know, don't reward bad behavior, good behavior and stuff like that. This isn't bad behavior. It is not very good behavior when he decides that he is going to start um, screaming and hollering like a banshee. Okay, that's not okay. So I know when to discipline. I know when not to discipline. I know when to, you know, give him cuddles and stuff like that. This morning, however, was a, I'm not going to school and I'm going to cry and until you give me my way. That's not happening. He made himself almost late to school for breakfast. I mean, he literally sat there for 10 minutes tying his shoes. I finally got him to get his backpack. He didn't have time to brush his teeth. I kind of let that one slide, you know, pick your battles. Um, it was one of those that, you know, I was trying to get him out the door, but I, I was trying to be understanding and stuff like that. And of course, you know, I think I may have raised my voice a little bit was like, stop, I can't take the crying anymore. <laughs> but so he was running late. I don't have any gas in my car and I went to drive him down to the corner and we made it to the corner. You know, I don't drive all the way in there because there was too many people, but we made it to the corner and he gets out of the car and I drive around the side and I, I was watching him and then all of a sudden I turn around and he's gone. So I had to come back to the house and I called the school and talked to the secretary and was like, look, my kid is missing. I want to make sure that he's there. Please let me know that he's there. So she called me back and everything is fine and dandy. He's great. He's awesome. So tonight when he gets home, I'm not trying to reward him. 
However, when he gets home tonight, we're going to sit down together. We're going to have a conversation and he's going to be able to, I've decided that, um, I'm going to let him pack his lunch so that he can go and, um, take his lunch tomorrow. You know, I just, I want everybody to understand that this is a situation. I mean, it goes very far into, you know, the slightest little change in a child's environment can really hurt. Um, I am not innocent by any means. Uh, there's a lot of things that I did in my past with my kids that, you know, I can say, what the hell were you thinking? But, um, so my phone is running hot and it keeps stopping me. That's why all this, but, um, I'm going to get off here and I'm going to edit this video and, um, just wanted to let you know, you guys know what was going on. Uh, so he had a great day yesterday. He came back from his dad's. Everything was fine. He came into the house. He was actually extra, extra hyper. So I knew that there was going to be an attitude adjustment needed. So for dinner, I am going to make country fried steak, mashed potatoes, and homemade gravy for the boy. So hopefully that will make him feel better. He sounded excited when I told him that. So... Talk to you guys later. Like and subscribe. Notification bell. Mwah.